Come one, come all, gather around the mythical man, opening his Pokemon cards from Tin. Espeon. That's right, today we are going to open up the... Po oh, hey guys, welcome back to the Nandan Pokemon Adventure! That's how I do these things. Uh, today we're going to be opening uh, Pokemon 196 Espeon Tin. That is the Pokemon we are going to open this tin. Uh, the last episode we did was the shiny... Eldegost, right? Was it Eldegost? I think was the, was the last Pokemon we did. Because I got some shiny boxes, too. I also have this sweet Arceus V box. And this also sweet Boltland box. And I think we still have a Fusion Strike Trainer box to get to. We've got a lot of Pokemon stuff still. I still have the, the other Espeon and Umbreon boxes from sun and moon guys sun and moon base set is in these boxes uh those are from gamestop from i can't even tell you how long that's been ago now before pre-covid that's pre-2020 pre-covid that's how long i've had those boxes sitting around so i'm gonna have to i guess my brother's not gonna come over and do these with me um so i'm not gonna say these tins obviously because i do want to do something umbreon and espeon since they are my favorite of the evolutions so Maybe I'll get someone else to... Maybe my wife can come down and open up the Umbreon Espeon boxes with me. Would you guys like that? Leave it in the comments below if you want her to try and read some names of Pokemon. Oh, there we go. That's how we get the plastic off. Yeah, if you want to hear my wife attempt to read some names of Pokemon cards, that could be... Oh, you know what? I should do another grandma video. I haven't done one of those in a while. Do you guys remember that? Like, one of the first videos that blew up on this channel was the... Uh, grandma Pokemon grandma or something. I forget what I called it, but my grandma and I sat down and we each got identical Pokemon boxes and opened them up and it got like, I don't know, decent. I think we had over a hundred views, which for me is good. Uh, especially at that time, I wasn't trying to get views. I was just doing this for nephews. Um, and now it's just kind of become a hobby and I just enjoy showing everyone what I'm getting. So if you guys like it, you know, leave a, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel so you get more of this, get more codes like this one here. Code for the boys and girls at home. Thanks for watching, guys. There you go. Now let's take a look at this Espeon V card looking really nice, really sharp. Love Espeon. You know, I'm going to say it. I think I like Espeon regular better than Espeon shiny. I don't, I think I'm in the majority of that too. I don't think people are like wild about Espeon shiny. Now, Umbreon. I love the shiny way better. The black and blue is so freaking sharp. But anyway, guys, we've got five packs here to do. Uh, two Brilliant Stars packs, one Fusion Strike, one Evolving Skies, and one Chilling Rain. I think Evolving Skies is the oldest of the packs, and it's got Umbreon on it. So we're going to start right there. We're going to start with Umbreon, uh, Espeon's twin brother, the... Glorious Parallel, and uh, let's see what we get here. We've got a code card for the boys and girls. Do <gasps> you guys see that right there? Something shiny. Do you see that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Code card for the boys and girls at home. One, two, three, four to the front. Spinning around. We've got a Steel Energy. That's what we're going to start with. Okay. Into a Swoobat. I don't know where that voice came from. Into a Swoobat. I'm excited because I know there's a Shiny here somewhere, so I really want to get to that. We've got Digging Gloves. That... Is that card like... Oh, my gosh. The card is bent. Please don't let all of them be bent. Stormy Mountain. That's Okay, that one's not bent. Love Disc, not bent. Okay, so our shiny might be intact, or it might also have a crease, which would be bad. Uh, Fletchling, Chinchow. A Petalo. <coughs> um, the Dino Dino. We've got a Lily... Oh, is that what I was seeing? It might have been the Lily Pup. I, no, I don't think so. I think we saw something on the end. But there's Lily Pup Reverse Hollow, and on the... <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's even more glorious than I ever could have imagined. Our beautiful blue snake dragon of gorgeousness, VMAX baby. That is how we start. Umbreon pack, you delivered and you delivered well. Oh my god, do I love this card. This is so, so cool. 
He's got Hyper Beam and Max Tyrant. This is a very, very nice card. Whew. Evolving Skies, baby. They, they, there are some true gems in Evolving Skies. Maybe I need to do more Evolving Skies. Maybe that's what I need to do. I, I Okay, so I might be putting in a order on Wish because that uh, fake Pokemon card box that I opened that was just nothing but fakes. You guys seem to like that. Like, I'm, get, I'm still getting a ton of comments on that, and I'm trying to respond to all of you when I see them. Uh, so I'm going to keep maybe... I might make that like a series of just doing like fake Pokemon cards just to see, like, what we get, because we were getting stuff that wasn't from that set, too. It was, like, Sword and Shield. No, it was it was Sun and Moon, I think, were the cards that I did, and we were getting, like, Sword and Shield cards that were like, wait a minute, this is not right. There's the code for you guys. One, two, three, and four to the front. Spin it around. We've got the Darkness Energy. Into... Is it... Is it... Fion... I don't know how to say his name. The DLC guy into, ooh, a Leyron sipping some water from the lake. Ooh, fancy. It looks like he's in a cave, though. We've got some fire-resistant gloves. I, I think we already got those, didn't we? We got some some sort of gloves in the last one. Ooh, a Hatena. Love these. A rock ruff playing in the snow like a cute little guy. We've got a Shuppet hanging outside. This looks like an Ebenezer Scrooge, like one of the ghosts of past, present, or future. Like, just hanging outside when you can see he's out in the snow. Poor little Shuppet. Out in the snow, and uh, inside looks like there might be a nice, cozy, warm den for him to actually be in. We've got a cast form, the snowy form. Maybe... Oh, maybe Shuppet turns into a cast form. No, that would be that would be kind of weird, but kind of I mean they kind of look the same. They kind of have the same draw style. Same with Ghastly. They, they all kind of fit in that same family of like here's circular pokemon and then you just kind of add to the circle shape that is the pokemon. And speaking of circle shaped pokemon, we got a Bond Sweet. Will we finish with a circle shaped? We will kind of. I mean, Weezing is kind of two, I mean, three circles that are connected by two lines. And a bunch of smoke around it. So it's, I mean, we kind of just had a circle-shaped pokey pack, Which is kind of cool when you think about it. That's not even hollow, but that's okay. We're off to Fusion, Fusion? Fusion Strike with our Max Evolution, Gen our Dynamaxed Gengar. Which I'm not, I'm still not wild about this. Uh, some people really love this. Some people absolutely hate it. I think I'm like in the middle. Because I love Gengar. But that, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's, I'm not, I'm not wild about it. I don't hate it, but I'm not, I'm not wild about Dynamax Gengar. It's just, it doesn't get me excited. It's not like, oh, I need to get this. Oh, that's right. We got to flip it this way. Upside down code for you. There you go. One, two, three, and four. These cards like have so, they're so like thin. Four to the Front, was that four? Yeah, okay. Four to the front. They just feel a lot thinner than the other ones I've opened so far. Is that is that just me, or is, like, Fusion Strike, is that how it is? We've got an Exc Excadrill, a Charge Bug, Judge, the judgiest judge of all judgelings. We've got a Qfint lifting the entire boulder. We've got a Voltorb, like, psychedelic-looking... Voltorb, like, kind of pouty. He looks pouty. I don't know how to ever, like, read the expression on Voltorb's faces. There, Some Pokemon are hard. Uh, Shelter, who looks quite angry. Eevee, who looks like he's just enjoying himself. He's just out there having a nice day. Can't ask for more for you, Eevee. A Morpeko, who's not stealing a treat. Here's a Morpeko being, like, good boy. Nice. Good job, Morpeko. I like that. I like that side of you. A Delcaddy is our reverse hollow, being a beautiful lady out on a nice sunny day, looking for some shade, sitting on a wall, enjoying herself. And on the end, ooh, Fraligator. Here's a Pokemon I haven't seen in a, in a minute. Here is, oh, here's one of the ones where the hollow runs all the way down the card, like in the certain light. And I don't know if this is like intentional or if that is something that's 
more of a misprint that it's running down. I think we've gotten this in quite a few cards, so I think maybe it is supposed to be intentional, but I'm not entirely sure. But there's a, a really cool for alligator. I, I like that card. It just it looks nice. We're on to our two Brilliant Stars packs. Whimsicott, bring us something good, baby. Bring us the all the glory of a pack. Oh, I like our start here. We go this way for the code. There it is, the code for the boys and girls at home. And the men and women. It doesn't have to just be boys and girls that use the codes. Anyone can use them. I'm, I'm giving them away to you. Now, these cards here, like, it's a lot thicker of a card. And it's just something about the uh, Fusion Strike that just wasn't, I don't know, it was a thin... Thin cards. We've got these new energies that are have like it just looks like an overcharged energy with all that extra uh I don't know, like wisps falling off of it. They look really nice. I like them a lot. We've got <coughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Maybe this is gonna be a silent pack round. Except that's a really cool card. I'm sorry. Okay, Friends of Galar. I like that a lot. That's a great trainer. I That one I have to keep for my collection. Ooh, Halucha. Thrall. Maybe this is a fighting pack. Nope, we got the Magmar out in the winter. Again, we've seen that one a hundred times. Maybe not a hundred, but it just I feel like we get that in every pack of these, so it just seems like we see it a lot. A Burmy. Which, the Shinies, you'll never be able to tell because they look exactly the same. Oh, our big Dino Boy, Double Blades. Uh, This reminds me of, what is the Yu-Gi-Oh! monster? Uh, please, if anyone knows it, leave it in the comments below. It looks very, very similar to this. It had, like, the double head saw thing, like, blade. Um, But I always call it a Haxorus. I'm like, that's, that's Pokemon, that's not Yu-Gi-Oh! And on the end... A Motham non hollow. <clears throat> All right, final pack, and then I need to take a break and get a drink. Here we have a code card for the boys and girls at home, and the men and women, and whoever wants it, give it to your dog if you'd like. Maybe they, are, maybe your dog or cat are playing Pokemon uh, online card game trading. Whatever. I, I don't... Can you guys trade in the Pokemon online? Like, can you trade cards with people in there? I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's a Vibrava into a Chef Master. A Monferno. The... Probably my favorite of this evolution line. I'm sorry. I would love this Pokemon. Chimchar's cool, and Infernape is cool, but I think Monferno is one of the Rare times where I like a, a middle stage of a starter Pokemon better than anything else. I uh, You know what? I'm going to have to see it next to an Infernape now because I might take that back. There's a Spiritomb. How about a little baby dragon saw blade? How about a little... Oh my god, a little baby Shinx. It's adorable playing with his tail. Haven't gotten this card yet, and I instantly love it. I love Shinx. And that whole evolution. Just like Impidimp. I like Impidimp and his entire evolution. That's another great line. There's a Golet. There's a couple Golets. Go let the dogs out, am I right? <laughs> um, a Primplup. And on the end... Uh, nothing. We end with nothing good here to tell the fans about, but that is okay. Let's show you what we got today. We've got a Fraligator. We've gotten a blue shiny dragon v -man. I mean, this was probably the card to get. Oh man, I just love, I love that one a lot. And we've got our Espeon V. So that's our lineup of our wins today. If you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It helps me out a lot. Leave a comment just because I'm curious. Do you guys want to see stuff that's not Pokemon? Do you want to see other stuff? I've done other stuff, you know, Disney pins. I think we've done one or two of those videos now. Um, I've got otaku boxes because you guys are into, like, the statues and stuff, so I've done a couple of those. I'm just kind of 
you know, trying to figure out what, what you, the fans, are into, and I want to, you know, make some more content for you guys. So let me know what you guys like. Please leave it in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!